Dude. Oh, dude. If that's chance, then I'm gonna use Cut Loose. I'm gonna cut loose on this guy, and that'll also kill some of his little dudes, I think. And it'll do a lot of damage to him. Oh, but his little dudes have a lot- Okay, let's fuck it. Let's just smash hit him. Alright. Oh, and we gotta pop in Lemur Face Plus before it's too late. Alright, um... <laughs> oh, dude! Oh, oh, I want I want that. He just popped out a... Dude, he just popped out a thing. Where did it go? He totally just popped out one of the, um, like, ultimate attack things. And I do not know where on earth it went. Oh, and here comes this all-out defense. And did anybody defend when I used all-out defense just now? Last time it totally worked. Oh, yeah, there we go. See? Oh, that was... that is beautiful. All-out defense is amazing and perfect. Let's use Cut Loose again, and I'm gonna have to recharge my mana here. Alright. And... Dude, fucking... let's... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Provisions... Where's my... Oh, whatever. Defend! Perfect. Alright. Pop out. Oh, no, no. I didn't... I could... I didn't have provisions because I wasn't in Oliver. Duh. Alright, now... Use some more strong coffee. One on Oliver. And... Oh, use some more strong coffee. Oh, here comes Bolt from the blue. Oh, fuck it, and all out defense. Get in defensive mode. Oh my gosh, I hope that wasn't too late. Was it too late? Dude, the only person that really got into defensive mode was nobody. Whatever. Alright, spells... Let's pulse this guy. Even though what I should be doing... Oh, dude, Pulse does a reasonable amount of damage. Alright, let's get into... Money Mayhem and Warcry. Alright, cool. We're Warcry now. And... Cut Loose! Alright, here we go. Hopefully this... rocks the world. I want to get rid of all these little jellyfish. Did that get rid of, like, all of them? Oh, dude, that got so close. Alright. Defend. Who's he? Yep, he's coming after me. That's what I thought. Dude, one more cut loose will... rock this guy's world, but... I have so little magic left. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's use one on her. And... Oh. Defend, and everyone defend. Cool. Oh, I think I got it that time. The problem is, Esther, I think, has no defensive move. But look at that. See, me and my boy rocked that shit, but I'm gonna go grab all this life and magic over here really quick. Unless it disappears, which it did. Alright. Um. <laughs> Provisions. You know, I could use a great sages thing. I'm gonna use a strong coffee, though, on myself. And then I'm going to pull out Money Mayhem. I want to finish off all these little jellyfishes because they're not doing that much damage, but they just annoy me being around. I don't even know why. They just bother me. By the way, on that note, I am, like, hardly doing any damage to this thing. Like, I really need to start, like, rocking this fight way more right now. But I think that this guy's got, like, nothing left in him. Alright, oh. Let's defend against Sea Stars. Beautiful, perfect. Oh, except for he did confuse me, but hopefully that'll go away in a second here. Alright, oh, dude, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna crack up, open another war cry on his ass. Alright, here we go, another war cry. Hopefully Esther's got enough magic to heal me. Oh, shit. She doesn't. I was not paying attention nearly enough. Right, provisions. This is a time when I'd say it's okay to use a phoenix feather on Oliver. And her should get away. Alright, cool. So I think that'll bring the Oliver's back. Oh, shit! But nobody was defending against this, because I wasn't watching. Well, this is bad. Now, like, he might just immediately die again. Nope, now Esther's... Okay, cool. How... Okay, so Oliver's gonna knock out a lot of magic. I need to give Swain something that can heal. That will have to be done in the future, because he's just got, like full magic right now, and I'm just kind of fucking around. Alright. She needs magic. Oliver needs magic. 
Um, <laughs> that restores HP. Um, Sprite do oh, that's HP to all allies. That's not worth it. All right, Great Sage's thing to use on herself, and we'll use another one of those on herself. Hopefully Oliver will keep himself healed while I'm doing this. Alright, I'm gonna need to buy some more strong coffee at some point here. Oh, yep, there goes Oliver. Well, shit. That's what I get for n expecting him to heal himself. What's funny is Phoenix Feathers are not that expensive. Alright, oh, alright, there we go. Bring Oliver back to life. Now... Oh, Swain's gone. Shit. Switching out to Oliver. Oh, and all out defense. Except for I didn't defend myself. Nice. Great strats. And now I'm gonna be instantly dead again. Oh my gosh. This fight is not going well. Alright, um. Provisions, uh. Tika Mahala. On Oliver. Oh shit, she used a thing on me right before I did that. Dude, I should have done it on Esther since she was busy healing me and not herself. Alright, fish burger on Esther. Oh my gosh. And let's pull out... Oh, no. Let's pull out Money Mayhem and just start attacking this thing. And maybe I should bring out... Um... Wayne. Maybe I should, like, bring him back, but... You know what? I think his dude does actually a reasonable amount of damage. But... Man, this fight did not go well. It is a boss battle, though, so I guess I probably should have expected it to be... quite a, an ordeal. And it sure did turn out to be. Oh, man. Oh! Alright, defend. And all out defense. There we go. And I can switch back into... Hopefully that doesn't do too much damage because I defended. Yep, alright. Perfect. Alright. Put in Lemur Face Plus. Who hardly can do any damage to this thing. Alright, Psych Up. Which costs no magic. Alright. Oh, uh, and... He's gonna do Sea Stars. Whatever. I don't even care. Dude, I'm just like... Gonna all out attack. This thing is gonna go down. All right, get Money Mayhem back out here. Oh, defend, all out defense. There we go. Oh man, <laughs> shit, shit, shit. See, dude, it's like, what's what's even the point if I like lose everything in every boss battle? Oh man, this is it though. I think this is it. I just gotta keep an eye on my health because I don't know if Esther has enough magic to heal right now. She's got enough for one more heal. Yeah, I should probably heal myself with something. Um, how about a sandwich? I've got a ton of sandwiches. Alright, now that'll take some time, and it'll give me time to pop Money Mayhem back out. Okay. Dude, this is so close to his death! This is so close! Go, go, go get some mana or something. If I take too many hits right here at the end, I'm gonna fuck myself. Okay. Mm. Defend. Please survive this bolt from the blue. Oh my gosh, this battle is ridiculous! It's ridiculous, like, mostly though, because I'm, like, sucking. Like, that's the real reason it's ridiculous, and there we go. Oh my gosh. I did it. I won. I'm a winner. Not really, like... I'm barely a winner because I suck at everything. But look at that, holy shit! Experience Town, USA, and I got the Spirit of the Storm! Everyone leveled up, fuck that shit, yeah! That's what I like to see, levels everywhere. And Gunther. Gunther can now metamorphose! Alright. And whatever, Royal Jelly. Blah, 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 blah. I just beat a boss. Dude, bosses in this game are actually pretty tough, and I like that, by the way. I've mentioned this before, and I will mention it again. I like it when I'm playing games, and, um, the bosses are actually tough, because sometimes 
you just play games and you just like steamroll through them, and it is not enjoyable. That's actually one of the reasons I loved Paper Mario. Is because like the enemies aren't tough, but you don't like steamroll the bosses. In fact, there's many bosses that are very tough. In fact, some of the optional bosses in Paper Mario are ridiculous. On that note, I can't wait to play Paper Mario in the Thousand Year Door, and the actually the only reason I'm not doing it on my channel right now is because I figure two RPGs at once is just like more than I can balance on my plate. Except for that's not a good metaphor. It's like more food than will fit on a what's the, how does how do metaphors work again? What are <laughs> phrases? All right. Oh. They're coming! Oh! I can feel it! Oh, they're coming! At long last! Come on, my little darlings! Wahey! Come on, you lot! Last one in's a rotten egg! Wahey! Well, in terms of that zone, I actually loved it. Because, I don't know, obviously the music was hilarious, the... Like, the music was f the, was good, the battle was tough, it was a good zone, alright. And... Now, Drippy is just talking to these guys about their career, but... Oh, apparently, did Drippy used to be in their team? Whatever. Doesn't even matter! I actually don't care, alright. Shepard around now, edit. Alright. Drippy boy! Okay, whatever, I don't really care. We're finding, we're trying to find Alicia. Blah 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 blah. Too much text. One actually, see, I talk a lot about things I like in this game. One of the things you might have noticed that I don't like is the amount of useless text in this game, which is why I skip through so much of it and just like talk over it. Because seriously, I'm sure you made it somehow. You never seem to have much trouble falling asleep. And all right, gee, poor Mr. Drippy. Because. In this game, there's a lot of text that's not... It doesn't serve a purpose. And so it's like... It's not like well written. And it doesn't like convey storyline. Oh, Oliver. What's wrong? It's Philip. He's mean. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, Ollie boy. Don't cry, man. I'm the tear fairy, see? I don't like seeing them go to waste. You're a... a fairy? I am, and a proper tidy one at that. You talk funny. <laughs> That's how fairies talk, sweetie. But it's goofy. Oh, is it now? Well, I wish I'd known that before I made him for you. Nobody made him. He's my friend. Of course he is. I'm sorry. And I'm sure he'll always be your friend, no matter what. Come on now, don't be such a crybaby bunting. What would Mr. Drippy think? I'm not a crybaby bunting. Then you'd better dry those tears, hadn't you? Hmm? Sweet moments with Mem. And now we get to talk to Drippy's Mem again. And hopefully, she will finally tell us some information that will help us, because so far, she hasn't really been relinquishing any useful information. Other than that there were some monsters inside of her. And all that business. Alright, it means reason was much less serious than we thought it was. We've heard- we- where have I heard that name before? Oh, him! You know Shadar, ma'am? Nope. Oh, dude, she's being a bitch again. Trying to- Act all the Mickey, causing all kinds of mischief. Proper little Terry is. All right. Um. Seriously, like, see, here it is again. They're doing it. There's just so much text in this game, and a lot of the times, like, they could convey the point so much faster than they do. 
and it, it really bothers me, because it's like, I almost just want to skip through all the text, and it's really tough when I'm doing, like, a playthrough of the game, because I don't want to miss anything, like, I'm afraid that I might actually miss something by skipping through the text, when that's actually not the case, because there's so little important information buried in the text in this game, and, like, I'm reading most of it right now, but it's like, I'm, re I'm reading it faster than I, I can, like, read it out loud, and I don't know. I think that's one thing, they did a lot right in this game, and one thing that they did badly was the sheer amount of, uh, just fucking people talking. But it looks like we got some pretty cool spells here now. Holy shit! In fact, she gave us probably the best sounding spells so far. What the f- and she's not done, holy shit! We are getting so many spells from this bitch right now. I actually am wondering if she'll ever stop. Wait, what is that? What's the loaf of life? Will that give me free food? That'd be nice. Alright. Sure is. Thank you so much, ma'am. Alright. Dude, they sounded useful. Like, honestly, she, like she says they're proper useful, but when I was reading through those spell names, they sounded way more useful than anything else. Wait, Drippy left? Oh, I'm sure he'll come back. Alright. So, now, I could talk to those assholes, but I really don't care what they have to say. Oh, I can probably finally go this way now. Remember earlier when I was like, there's like a path that goes somewhere over here and I didn't know where it went? Well, now, it looks like it's finally open. Oh, this? Ha, so that's where it goes. All right, actually, I decided to take that moment to save the game, because I was like, yeah, there's a save point, might as well save the game, well, as long as I'm in there, but I can probably, I mean, I can save the game in town, so there was really no reason for me to save there, in fact, because I can just come back to town and save. Alright, so let me check my map. See, okay, wait. Oh, so Drippy's back at the stage again, I was like, where the fuck did Drippy go? And, oh, and the game is already triggering the cutscene. Get it all soppy on me. Wait, I thought I told you to. Uh oh. Drippy's a family man. I wonder if that means he's going to abandon us, or is he going to, like, become the parent of all these little fairies? Because it's like. Drippy's been. Look at that! The game pointed me right at a chest. I would have missed that if the game didn't point me right at it. And that's totally a fish burger, and I need more items. Because I lost all my items. Well, oh, he really is, I guess. Trippy, are you really going to stay here, dude? Trippy? Trippy? Okay. Dude, I'm sure that he'll, like, as we leave town, he'll be like, No, I can't bear to be without you. And he'll come with us and shit. But, for now, actually, I am going to... Dude, are there ever going to be quests? Like, what is the point? Oh, there we go. Well, shit. Alright, peace has returned to the Golden Grove, and so have the fairies, but something still seems to be troubling them. Find out what's bothering the fa Oh, so I have to go to the Golden Grove? And does this guy have bounties for me now? I bet he does. Okay, he doesn't. What the fuck? What the, the fuck is up with this place? So now, the Golden Grove is a place again, and it has fairies in it, but... Apparently... There ain't no bounties or nothing. Alright, um... Here's begun. Should I buy some more strong coffee? It's so expensive, but it's so useful. See, I can buy two iced coffees and then use the spring water that I have. And that is cheaper than one strong coffee, but I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll get better stuff later. Anyways. I suppose I have to be leaving town now, and there's really no quests to do here. Which is interesting. I figured there was gonna be, like, quests- I'm gonna actually go check the weapon shop really quickly. I never check the weapon shop here, and since there's no quests to reward me with weapons, maybe there'll actually be some weapons that I can use to equip on my dudes. Alright, uh, yeah, there were not really any major upgrades to be had there, except for there were some, uh, new robes that I got for my casters, which would have been nice to have in that battle, because they had a, like, now they have, like, a wind resistance, so that wouldn't have been good against the jellyfish. But anyways, 
it's now time to go see if my boat is finally ready to rock and roll now that Drippy has left me, but I get the feeling that Drippy will not have left me forever, and is this a thing? Okay, it's just it's just some gnome beard. It's just some gnome beard, no biggie. Dude, remember earlier, so here's something stupid. Remember earlier when I said that um Swain didn't have steel? This is steel, and I didn't realize it. Mugshot is steel. And I didn't realize it before, so hopefully I can use Mugshot to steal an Emberstone from this Mohawk right now, but apparently... Oh, okay. I was like, what the fuck just happened? And I realized... Adorable ammo picked up... Alright, did that not work? Trick shots! Damn it! Use the Mugshot on Mohawk. Steal his item. Did I steal his item? Dude, I'm gonna catch that Mohawk. I... Nope. I want the Mohawk. Esther, get out. And nobody... Touch that mohawk. I get it. Love the mohawk. Serenade. Alright. I hope nobody touches that mohawk. Because I'm going to catch it. Alright. Beautiful. Dude. And you know what? Mohawk. I'm going to catch this fucking sprog cog too. Why the fuck not? But yeah. So mugshot. Um, totally does. Remember like last episode or maybe it was the episode before that. I was talking about how Swain does not have an ability that steals. Well, I was fucking wrong. Mugshot does exactly what I want it to do. Oh my gosh, everybody just like leveled up. And I'm gonna keep the mohawk. And I'm gonna name. I'm gonna name the mohawk. Um. Because it's going on the team. I want this mohawk. It is such a badass looking thing. I don't even care if it's good. So it's getting a nickname. We're gonna call him. Um. What? That's not... Nope. Lil... Lil Slugger. Lil Slugger. Alright, Lil Slugger. This is just enough words to call him Lil Slugger. Alright. Keep the Sprog Cog. Yes, no nickname because that thing looks stupid. Do not even care about stats and shit. Because that is not important. What's important? Alright, and they're both on his team now. But, uh, Mohawk. Okay, and it's already at level 10. That's not bad. And I'm gonna metamorphosize Gunther. I don't want to say Gunther because I want his name to be Gunther. Who else is met? Is anybody metamorph- Oh, Sunbum is. You know, I might as well decide- I might as well metamorph Sunbum in case I'm ever gonna use him. Like, I've got plenty of- I've got plenty of, like, candies and shit, so... Why not? Except for I didn't nickname him, so why would I use him, right? The only things I want to nickname are things that I'm going to use, but who cares? He doesn't look cool, or he doesn't look as cool when he's that color. All right, Mohawk. Um, oh wait, we're going to metamorphose. We're going to metamorphose. Um, Gunter. I only have one star drop, so that's perfect. All right, Gunter, you're going to get metamorphosed, and now that means you're not going to be particularly useful for a while. But in your place. Mohawk is probably gonna die a lot at first, but it's gonna be worth it. I want Mohawk to be my dude. All right, Mohawk. Um, switch in as Swain's. Which button is switch? I think I need to be in here. Yep, there we go. All right, switch. You're you're the main squeeze now. And Gogo, -Go, you're gonna be this main squeeze. Adorable ammo. You need to be on this team, which means I need to arm Spermy. In fact, no, let's just leave Adorable Ammo here for now. I want to have a healer on Oliver's team, but Oliver can heal, so I guess that's good enough. Alright, enough of that shit. I should probably now go equip... whatever, whatever. So it looks like the boat's fixed. Let's go talk to the captain of the ship, see how things are going over here. Captain Simba! Oliver, thank goodness. Tell me that you at least found somewhere to shelter at night. We sure did, and we bought a ton of uh, brought a ton of food, too. There's a little village on the island. And also, foo uh, food, I'm pleased to learn this, and you will be pleased to learn that I have completed repairs of the ship. She's ready to sail upon your command. Shall I give order to weigh anchor? Um... No! Would you mind waiting just a little while? Forgive me, I thought you were anxious to depart. So I guess the game gives me a choice of whether I take Drippy or not? So after returning to town, I pretty much confirmed you really, I don't think, supposed to take Drippy with you yet. He's just going to... Leave. I guess we're gonna leave Drippy behind. Um, I'm not sure, but apparently, I don't know if you actually have a choice or not, but.
I'm leaving Drippy behind. I'm sure we will run into him again on my journey. He's worn out his welcome. We did the right thing, didn't we? But dude, of course we did the right thing because the game didn't actually give us, like, a way to bring him with us. I think that... You're like... Oh, look at that. Look at that. I knew it. Drippy's coming with us anyway. Mr. Drippy! Are you forgetting someone? 